Good morning. I'm Dr. Jeremy. What can I help you with today? Good morning, Doc. I'm Joint Commission Guy. Seem to have suffered a bit of a head wound. I took a little tumble at work, you know. Oh my. Well, let's take a look. Wait, Doctor, you forgot to clean your hands. Well, now that I've cleaned my hands, let's listen to your heart. Well, that sounds good. Now that we've listened to your heart, let's take a look at your head. Wait, doctor, you forgot to wash your hands again. Now that I've cleaned my hands again, let's take a look at that head. Well, Joint Commission guy, you look pretty good to me. I think you're ready to go back to your fine work being all Joint commission -y. Now it's time for me to check on the next patient. Hey, Doc, aren't you supposed to clean your hands? Nurse, why are you cleaning your hands? I always clean my hands after touching a patient. Good morning, time for breakfast? Hey, this place has great service. Sorry, Joint Commission guy, I forgot my stethoscope. Hey, dog, didn't you touch the bed? Shouldn't you clean your hands? My friends, don't be like Dr. Jeremy. Remember the five moments of hand hygiene. Clean your hands before touching a patient, before a clean, aseptic procedure, after body fluid exposure risk, after touching a patient, and after touching patient surroundings. Wow, I'm beginning to feel much better. Wet hands. Lather hands with soap. Step one, rub palms together. Step two, rub the back of both hands. Step 3, interlace fingers and rub hands together. Step 4, interlock fingers and rub the back of fingers of both hands. Step 5, rub thumb in a rotating manner followed by the area between index finger and thumb for both hands.
Step 6 Rub fingertips on palm for both hands. Step 7 Rub both wrists in a rotating manner. Lastly, rinse and dry thoroughly. Personal protective equipment acts as a barrier shielding both the healthcare worker and the patient from bodily secretions and potentially infectious materials. Before donning your personal protective equipment, wash your hands. If soap and water is unavailable, use a hand sanitizer with an alcohol content of more than 60%. Put the gown on first, next mask, then eyewear, and finally gloves. The gown is to fully cover your torso from neck to knees, arms to wrists. Wrap it around the back and secure it with ties at the neck and waist. If the gown is too small, use two gowns. The first ties in front, the second in the back. There are various kinds of masks, but each is worn in a similar fashion. Place the mask over your nose, mouth and chin, securing it to your head with ear loops, ties or with the elastic straps. Follow the manufacturer's directions when securing the straps to ensure a snug, secure fit. Position the flexible nose piece over the bridge of your nose, squeezing to fit. Adjust the mask so it is snug to your face and extends below your chin. Position eyewear over your eyes and secure to your head using the earpieces. If you wear eyeglasses, put them on first, then don your eye protection. If you anticipate splatter or spray, the face shield will provide greater protection for your entire face. Put your gloves on last. Insert your hands into the gloves and extend the gloves to cover the cuffs of your gown. Keep your gloved hands away from your face. Avoid touching or adjusting other personal protective equipment. Remove gloves if they're torn. Perform hand hygiene before putting on new gloves. Limit surfaces and items touched. Remove your personal protective equipment in the following order. Gloves, gown, wash your hands, eyewear, mask, and wash your hands one final time.
All personal protective equipment must be removed in sequence and discarded carefully. Removal is just as important since equipment is now contaminated. Grasp the outside edge of the glove near the wrist and peel away, turning the glove inside out. Hold it in the opposite gloved hand and peel off from the inside, creating a bag for both gloves. Discard. The gown front and sleeves are dirty, so it must be handled from the back and inside. Unfasten the ties. Peel the gown down and away from the neck and shoulder, turning it inside out. Fold or roll into a bundle and discard. Wash your hands before proceeding. It's important to wash your hands now because they may have become contaminated during the removal of your gown and gloves. The next step is removal of eyewear and mask and you'll want to be especially sure to have clean hands before proceeding. If soap and water is unavailable, use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. The outside of the eyepiece is contaminated, so handle eyewear by the earpieces. Pull away from your face and place into a designated receptacle for cleaning. The front of the mask is dirty. For removal, handle only the ear loops, ties or elastic straps. Remove it from your face in a downward direction and discard. To complete the process, perform hand hygiene one more time. Remember to perform hand hygiene any time you suspect your hands are contaminated during removal of protective equipment. Let's review the steps for putting on and taking off personal protective equipment. First, wash your hands. Put on your personal protective equipment in the following order. Gown, mask, eyewear, and gloves. Remove your personal protective equipment in the following order. Gloves, gown, wash your hands, eyewear, mask, and wash your hands one final time.